Hello, thank you for tuning in this afternoon or whatever time it is where you're tuning from. Thank you very much for tuning into my YouTube channel. My name is Deidre Chisholm and I'm the owner of JA Hair Co. and Jean Andrew Hair Solutions. Uh, right now what I want to demonstrate is how to clean your flat irons. 22 years ago when I got started in the industry, there was no such thing as a flat iron. We had curling irons with little levers and you had your finger and things like that that you would plug in. Or you had Marcel irons, which were a whole other level of heat. But um, what I'm going to show is how to clean your flat irons. 9 out of 10, you have at least one. If you're watching this and you probably have a favorite one, and over time... There might be a little buildup on your flat iron, or maybe you feel like it has a slight little um, smell or something that you can't get rid of. The first thing you do about buildup and smell is you should not use your flat iron on hair that is not freshly washed, okay? Because you'll get your natural oils on the flat iron, and then the heat kind of like turns those natural oils into that odor. Another reason why you'll get that odor is if your flat iron is too high when you use it. If the heat is too high, it's going to burn your hair and it'll smell burnt or just have um, the burnt residue odor of the products that you use on your hair. So remember those two things when it comes down to smells from your flat irons or your wand or your curling iron. Um, what I do here in the salon and at home for my flat irons is I use 91% alcohol. You can get it from your local drugstore and after my irons have cooled a little bit, I take a little bit of the alcohol, a good amount, and then I just go over the whole iron. Still, you know, it's like an iron, a regular clothes iron. You don't let it get completely cool, but it's still a little warm, just enough so it can uh, interact with the alcohol and help lift those smells off of your irons. That helps keep them clean, free from smells, and free from residue. You don't have buildup on them or anything like that, okay? Yeah, the heat kills bacteria, but still, you don't want smells on your irons because then that carries over to your hair. Your hair will almost never smell fresh. So just watch, and if you have any questions, um, you can email me or leave a comment below. If you have any comments, leave the comments below. I am located right here in Katy, Texas, suburb just outside of Houston. I offer smoothing treatments, pressing, hair extensions, and I even sell hair, hence JA Hair Co. But um, please, again, Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Please look forward to new video posts about hair care, caring for your tools, um, interesting products that I come across, and my favorite products. Thank you so much for looking and taking a look at my video. And now I'll demonstrate for you. We're going to take a regular towel. Saturate it pretty good. Your irons are unplugged, okay? And you just take it and really rub your plates. Rub all over there where residue likes to get stuck. Even where you hold the iron. Just rub the whole thing really good. You can really get rid of residue and smells and all kind of yucky stuff. I tend to do this at the end of my work day, sometimes the end of the week. And the reason why I do that is because I want the iron to sit for a little while before I use it on anybody's hair. Because this is alcohol. You don't want to throw, you know, heat that up and 
put that on somebody's head like, oh, great, we're flat ironing. No, you know, you try to use low to no alcohol products anyway. Okay? My iron was uh, on one of my containers, so I have a little melted plastic there. When you're using these irons, make sure your area is free from plastic so you don't burn up the place. I actually use at home especially um, silicone pads, you know, like the little flexible trivets that you put your pots on in the kitchen. I use those at home. That really saves my um, vanity in the bathroom from getting those little uh, heat spots, you know, when you leave your curling iron or your flat iron there and you get a nice little scorching. That's not cute. Look at that. I'm getting some stuff off of there. Can you see that? See that? What's coming off that iron? Residue from products and all kinds of stuff. Just want to Make sure you keep your stuff nice and clean and free from smells. <clears throat> if your stuff is smelly, your clients will be like, nah, you don't have to flat iron it. Don't worry. Don't worry. When they say that, that means you need to clean your stuff. Because there may be a smell or some type of residue that's getting left on their hair. So you can use your irons and stuff, okay? Here we go. I don't know what that is. It's come off. Anger. Nice and clean. Remember. Wipe the whole tool down. Okay. Clean your irons. Keep your work area nice and clean. You know, it's like no one likes to go to a person's dirty house. Same thing as a cosmetologist. Whatever you do. Hair, nails, skin, lashes. Tattoos, that's not cosmetology, but you are personally touching someone, you're using your tools on them. Clean your stuff, show pride in what you do. You might have your favorite tools like I do, they haven't quit on me, so I'm gonna keep on using them. Make sure you keep them clean, okay? Thank you, thank you so much for taking a look at my video. Look forward to more. If you uh, need to contact me, 832-922-8729. I am a practicing hairstylist in the Katy slash Houston area. Uh, if you have questions about your hair, leave it in the comments below. Uh, you can give me a call if you would like an appointment or you're interested in purchasing some hair, okay? This is an example of some of my hair that I sell up here. It's um, natural, wavy, 16 inches. But again, thank you very much and look forward to more videos.